Hi guys, I'm back. We're going to read chapter 7 of our Magic Treehouse book. If there are 10 chapters in this whole book, and we're on chapter 7, how many chapters do you think we have left? Let me know. Okay, so when we left off, Jack saw a mysterious dinosaur. Turns out, Tyrannosaurus Rex! yelled Jack. Run, Annie, run, cried Jack. Run to the treehouse. Jack and Annie dashed down the hill together. They ran through the tall grass and ferns and past the pteranodon. They scrambled up the rope ladder and tumbled into the treehouse. Annie leapt to the window. It's going away, she said, panting. Jack pushed his glasses into place. He looked out the window with Annie. The Tyrannosaurus was wandering off, but then the monster stopped and turned around. Duck, said Jack. The two of them ducked their heads. After a long moment, they peeked out the window again. Coast is clear, said Jack. Yay, whispered Annie. We have to get out of here, said Jack. You made a wish before, said Annie. Right, said Jack. He took a deep breath. I wish we could go back to Frog Creek. Nothing happened. I said, I wish, started Jack. Wait, said Annie. You were looking at a picture in the dinosaur book. Remember? Oh, no, I left the book in my pack on the hill, said Jack. I have to go back. Forget it, said Annie. I can't, said Jack. <laughs> she pats me if I'm not paying attention to her. I can't, said Jack. The book doesn't belong to us. Plus, my notebook with all my notes is in my pack and my... Okay, okay, said Annie. I'll hurry, said Jack. He climbed quickly down the ladder and leapt to the ground. Jack raced past the pteranodon, through the ferns, through the tall grass, and up the hill. He looked. His pack was lying on the ground. On top of it was the dinosaur book. But now the valley below was filled with antisauruses. They were all standing guard over the nests. Where had they been? Did fear of the Tyrannosaurus send them home? Jack took a deep breath. Ready, set, go, he thought. He charged down the hill. He ran to this backpack. He scooped it up. He grabbed the dinosaur book. And then he heard a terrible tuba sound. And then another, and another. Oh, the antisauruses were bellowing at him. He took off. He raced up the hilltop. He started down the hill and he stopped. The Tyrannosaurus Rex was back. He was standing between Jack and the treehouse. How does this picture help us understand what's happening in this story? End of chapter seven. Okay, I'll leave you guys with that. Bye.